Hi, I'm Silvio and welcome to this new video. <laughs> oh, sorry, welcome to this new review. I'm not totally sure yet, but I think this could be my last video before the starting of my 2021 project. Today is June the 20th and January I start my uh, Christmas Village project around the first days of July. So indeed, this could really be my last video before the starting of my 2021 big series. But hey, we aren't there yet, so let's go with the first unboxing and full review of this Lemax lighted building. And more precisely, I will review the Klaus Kodge, Cottage. Sorry. Item number 75292 2017 Lemax Incorporated. The translation here, the Klaus Cottage, translated by La Maison du Père Noël, the Klaus, uh, translated with Père Noël, generally Santa Claus is translated with Père Noël, so uh, some little misunderstanding there, and uh, La Cabana de Papa Noël, also Papa Noël is uh, Santa Claus and not the Klaus, and uh, Das Weihnachtsmann Häuschen, once again, Weihnachtsmann is, is uh, Santa Claus, sorry, so uh, not a really a good translation. Hetu is van de Kersman, also Kersman is uh, Santa Claus and not the Claus. And il cottage di Babbo Natale in Italian, also not really well translated, but <laughs> hey, this is a less um, wrong translation than my last review. Once again, some LED inside, three uh, 1.5 volt AA uh, batteries inside and a, a, an LED light bulb for sure and standard uh, box there. And this is a building from um, Santa's Wonderland collection. So this will be a poly resin lighted building, not a porcelain building. And as I told you before, all the buildings from Santa's uh, Wonderland collection are made from polyresin, so they are plastic buildings. Okay, from each side, the building itself, here and there, and from the front view, you have the old picture of the uh, main building with uh, a precision that you have an inside scene there. Uh, so in the bow window there. So mm, classic package and you can't really differentiate uh, Santa's Wonderland package from Caddington package. Uh, they have the same colors, red, green and beige and light brown, but I, I can't avoid that. And also oh, and Lemax never precise, never detailed the collection uh, in any of the um, box, so you have to go through their site to um, figure out what collection we are talking about here. But let's go with the first uh, unboxing. Yes, yeah, a little scratch on the box, but I don't care. Let's open it for the first time there, very gently as always. Okay standard package with the uh, foam box inside. Let me remove it. All right, I have some more notice, oops. And so bottom, but so this is the bottom. Let me go this way. Top O, item number 75292. Uh, the notice there. I have a notice with uh, the standard uh, infos uh, on how to light the building with the um, with the three AA batteries inside. The connectors here for the AC adapter there and the on-off switch there. Uh, everything is depicted, operating instruction, place the unit on flight level surface, etc, etc. 
uh, some other notice. The notice telling you that this is an unmade uh, um, building and unmade products and, and some other general notice there. So let's open it for the first time. Okay, here we go. Okay, another notice there on how to uh, insert the batteries inside and or connect the building to the AC adapter. There, so for here we don't have any any light bulb at all. I think it is inside the building itself. Let's try to remove the building without damaging it. Yes, it is inserted inside. Let's remove. It's not a heavy building, even if it is a big building, because obviously it is made from polyresin. So let's go here. Let's remove there. And this is the building itself from each side. And I will be more precise in just some minutes. Yes, this is uh, the mm, AC adapter connector, the on off switch and the batteries. If you need to use them, you need to go from under the building there. Yes, three AA batteries. Uh, let's close it. Lemax 2017. Sorry, it is from the wrong side. So Lemax 2017, some order notice there and uh, some uh, fabric there in order not to scratch uh, your um, furniture if you will put it on some furniture. Anyway, this is the uh, building and I will go in just a few seconds with the full review. See you in just 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Now the full review of item 75292, the Klaus cottage and as i just said some seconds ago it is a uh, lemax lighted building from 2017 santa's wonderland collection but first let me take my glasses otherwise i won't see anything at all so let's go with the full review here we go and uh, as always, let's go with some uh, turns around, a couple more from back side, right side, the front side and left side. Uh, let's go one more time, then I will go in it with the dimensions as always okay. So this building and the dimension as are always eighth by width by depth. This building is 7.97 inches in height by 7.56 inches in width by 4.96 inches in depth or in centimeters. This building is 17.7 centimeters in height by 19.2 centimeters in width by uh, 12 centimeters in depth. Here, the weight, uh, as I told you, this is a polyresin building, so not a very heavy building. Uh, 905 grams, that correspond to 31.9 ounces. Okay, uh, the tours of the dimension is done. Let me go from the back side, as always. I like starting from the back side. And from the roof. First, let me uh, introduce something. Um, Santa Claus, always depicted in red nowadays, but in ancient times it was depicted with uh, green colors. As I told you uh, some time ago, uh, it, is, uh, it has origin in the northern German mythology and uh, all uh, beings uh, uh, from the northern forest were depicted in green because they needed to hide in the green of the forest and during winter uh, with white. So the uh, Santa's uh, costume was uh, green and white uh, in the beginning. But nowadays, after 1900, the first uh, years of 1900 is depicted in red 
due to the commercial of a famous uh, soda and so every color from Santa's is depicted in this building some green some red uh, some white there here the snow and some beige here and some uh, black and light brown here and there but let me just show you this profile here everything is inserted in this profile in this building even a bell this for me is exactly the profile of a giant bell and what is christmas without bells nothing especially without uh, silver bells the song so here we have a bell here and also from the front side and i will show you we have more bells depicted so uh, the roof tiles the roof tiles are irregular, I know, but they are supposed to be uh, wood tiles. So uh, wood tiles are always or generally irregular shaped and this is the case even for this building and uh, nothing wrong with it. Uh, three chimney there, one, two, three. And by the way, this chimney here, this chimney is not solid. Uh, the black tube here is a rubber black tube. This is a building from Santa's Wonderland collection, a collection developed by Lemax in order to uh, give the ability to young kids to play with items, not with a uh, Caddington collection, for example, because it is, they are heavy and they are, and they are porcelain items, porcelain building, so very fragile. But this one is plastic, so the kids can play with it and on top of the chimney a uh, santa uh, hat there with pom pom here and uh, white here and red and uh, this is a strange chimney yes uh, some... at the profile chimney and here we go with a twin uh, chimney there uh, some red some irregular profile here and even some one two and three golden uh, Christmas balls. Yes, they are similar to golden Christmas balls, but hey, this is Christmas. We need some Christmas balls. Um, here, some wood here, depicted in, or painted in green, I know, but uh, this is in order to have continuity with the uh, um, roof profile here, but this is roof. Uh, this is a uh, wood, sorry, and this is supposed to be an arcade window. Going a little more uh, down towards the towards the downside. Uh, generally, here with all other collection, you will have a gigantic rounded hole in order to have the LED light bulb inserted into it. But as this is a building intended for kids, and you need to avoid, we need to avoid um, removable movable parts. Uh, uh, from objects in uh, hands of small kids in order to avoid them to uh, chew them, to uh, have them in their mouth and to have them suffocated by small objects. Lemax decided with all this collection to uh, glue the LED into the building and to avoid any mobile uh, and risky uh, elements to get uh, removed from the building. And so here we have the gigantic Lemax adapter. Uh, it is here it is the hole for the AC adapter, the on-off switch. And this is well um, specified that this is a 4.5 volt uh, building. And you won't see the uh, batteries because it is from the uh, downside, but I've just shown you uh, during the first unboxing where the batteries are supposed to go. And here you can replace the battery with an AC adapter, a classical AC adapter. Uh, two levels for the back of the building, the uh, ground level or first level here, uh, divided in two rooms by these uh, um, this wall here, this wood wall here, and left side and right side with each one with a, a rounded uh, fake uh, window there. 
and here we have the horizontal wood uh, separating the level or first level, the ground or first level from the uh, second level. And oh yes, also uh, you may have noticed how much snow we have on this building, and it is supposed to be a uh, northern pole, a uh, Santa northern pole, uh, north pole. Uh, building so plenty of snow of course not as much as I want but hey this is well over the uh, rest of the buildings from Lemax and uh, some snow on the floor here on the level on the ground level here and some small uh, wall gray wall here and I think I've said everything from the uh, backside here yes I've said everything let's go with the this side the uh, this side here and let's go so once again from this side another bell profile this is uh, this is uh, absolutely a bell here you can have a dub here because this is some too much uh, curved bell but uh, in this case here you can deny that this is uh, a uh, bell profile here. This is currently a bell, and uh, so to let's go with the roof here, the chimney. Oops, sorry, the chimney here. Some uh, bricks uh, chimney here. I think we thought with some protruding bricks there, brown with beige, and the top is black and gray. You, I know this. You have the impression that this is gray, but this is black in fact. Uh, some more snow here and there, another uh, golden uh, Christmas ball here, and uh, uh, fake windows here on top of these uh, bell profile, but here we have a, a real a rounded uh, window here. Uh, and so these always the same color, green, beige, um, red here. Uh, more snow here on top of the uh, roof there, and then we go towards the uh, towards the ground level, the first level here. A very beautiful window, a very beautiful real arcade window there, and with some uh, mistletoe here. And uh, here we go. Even from the profile, you can appreciate that this is not designed, but this is a real profile with the wall and everything else. And uh, very well done to have the window shutter in a different color here with some Christmas glyph there. One, two, three, and four. Some more mistletoe or maybe some moss here. I don't know because uh, mistletoe, mistletoe uh, generally have some red uh, rounded uh, fruits on top of it, but this is maybe some moss. I don't think this is real mistletoe. So some more snow here at the uh, ground level, and you can appreciate uh, from the uh, side here a uh, Christmas tree with some uh, Christmas balls, uh, golden and red Christmas balls, and some snow on the Christmas tree. So a uh, very beautiful uh, side there okay and you can also see the uh, white pom pom from the uh, the other chimney the the bending chimney there and here another uh, couple of uh, christmas uh, golden balls so and that's all for this uh, side here let's go towards the other side and uh, here we go uh, it is almost the same profile as before, but this is a bigger chimney with some red here and black, and you can appreciate the profile of the bending chimney here. Some very big, uh, maybe this is a twin uh, um, Christmas bowl, a twin golden Christmas bowl, with another roof having the profile of a bell, another rounded uh, window there. This is the side with absolutely the um, biggest amount of uh, snow there. And also this profile with the snow tending to slide towards the ground is very well designed. Okay, 
once uh, this is very well designed okay the same window you had from the other side uh, brown green and uh, with the blue shutters there and uh, some more mistletoe there but instead of having some moss to the ground level here you have a pile of uh, wood maybe for uh, the uh, fireplace yes absolutely for the fireplace with some white on top of it with some snow on top of it and this is very well designed and depicted and you can appreciate uh, this uh, the profile of this golden pillar here that is supporting the porch of the uh, in, in front of the house but I will come to the porch in just some seconds and here we have a gigantic and enormous um, bag full of toys full of uh, wrapped gifts there and also this is a very interesting uh, profile from this side but the masterpiece is from the front side here uh, let me just show you another very 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 big uh, bell there very well designed very well refined with everything with every uh, uh, carved uh, um, glyphs inside here and I will come together to it and then uh, the same profile for the bow window protruding from the front side here another bell there so let's go with the roof the chimney here and you can appreciate the big sea of clouds and they and they use it a font a northern german font font an ancient old german font with the sea here and some glyphs there some rounded glyphs here and there the same uh, golden uh, christmas ball i've shown you before and another one here and another here but let's just appreciate how well it is done this profile here with a chain there it, it, it's similar to a chain there engraved into the uh, wood profile some uh, rounded profile here and the same profile the same design the same glyphs you have on the window shutters you also have on the border of the main uh, roof uh, profile there okay so around that here very rounded the same glyphs here and there another real window for the front side maybe this isn't very well designed because the um, <laughs> the window shutter is clearly cut there <laughs> uh, so the designer made a big uh, mistake here because this is clearly not how it should be done maybe the windows should have protruded a little bit towards the uh, the outside so the shutter may have uh, been uh, on top of the profile there but a small error here some triangle triangles there that need to support the rounded roof and the structure need to be hyperstatic in order to support all the weight for from the snow and everything else so they have used the triangles and triangles are what uh, common use in uh, first uh, in early days of the 19th centuries to build to construct buildings and to make them hyperstatic avoiding uh, crashes avoiding uh, collapse uh, some more mistletoes here uh, on the downside of the window there and then another bell profile as i just told you for the uh, bow window section here uh, let me go with the main entrance here with the porch sorry with the porch here uh, the porch uh, uh, suspended with a, a golden pillar here some more mistletoe wreath here with a red bow there and the golden uh, handle here plain wood with some fake uh, around the windows here on top of the um, of the uh, door klaus cottage a big uh, uh, signpost here 
I know this isn't supposed to be a shoppable uh, house, but this is not poor. I can do whatever I want. And this is Klaus Cottage with the same, uh, almost the same font used here on top of the roof, but very rounded, very Northern Europe uh, glyphs, um, fonts with some uh, rounded glyphs here and there, and another Christmas glyph there. And uh, yes, uh, you can appreciate here the uh, welcome on the uh, porch there. And yes, I know uh, Santa's is uh, always welcoming you into his house, into his cottage. And you can appreciate here once more, once more the big, uh, the big bag, uh, the big Santa black, the big Santa bag. Sorry with all the rapid gifts and also here a little teddy bear um, yes this is a teddy bear even if uh, <laughs> it is more like a, a cat or a lion but this is a teddy bear i i think this is a teddy bear let's see from the back side yes this is classical for a teddy bear but uh, the face it's more similar to a uh, lion or a cat i don't know why but some green and blue and some green packet wrapped in blue some uh, red pa package wrapped in gold and some other things and a big giant bow there some steps here in order to get from uh, ground level to the uh, santa's cottage the klaus cottage entrance there and this okay Maybe a little too small for a mailbox. Imagine the amount of letters that will receive uh, Santa during uh, the Christmas um, holidays. But hey, this is supposed to be a personal uh, mailbox. And I know today you use uh, the web, you use internet, you use uh, electronics uh, um, cards. But once upon a time, there were plenty of Christmas cards sent sent all over the world, and just maybe 20, 30 years ago, there were plenty of Christmas cards. And let's imagine that the first years of internet in Europe were around 1994, so. 30 maximum 30 years ago we still have plenty of christmas cards uh, sent by mail to everyone in every corner of the world but this is a uh, santa um, personal mailbox and you can appreciate here that you have also the klaus here very well uh, this uh, very well designed on the mailbox itself Another Christmas tree there with the almost the same shape of the previous one with a red and gold uh, Christmas bowl and some snow there. Then a squirrel and a rabbit. The squirrel looking towards the rabbit, the rabbit, lo the rabbit looking inside the scene. And what you have inside the scene, I just don't think I have a good enough... Uh, because the window is reflecting too much but I think this is the best I can do you have inside um, Santa seated relaxing without his classic hat and when Santa has not his hat on it is off duty not on duty so it it all he also have a small uh, packet uh, package on his lap and probably is wrapping the package and mrs santa uh, is decorating and uh, the uh, christmas tree there even the clouds are their christmas tree inside their cottage once again, Mrs. Santa depicted as a complete housewife. Very typical for the first years of the century, but nowadays I imagine her much like a manager directing all, uh, managing, sorry, the 
I don't know the health workshop or and designing everything the new toys collection yes this is the kind of uh, Mrs. Santa I'm depicting nowadays and uh, the age is not counting anything they are here they are, <laughs> they are here and yes I am okay with uh, uh, Mrs. Santa being a top manager for all the North Pole industry yeah let's go and some more moss here and some more snow here and there I like the uh, uh, bow window here and, and you can appreciate that you have a window from each side and also from the front side here uh, very well designed, no mm, defect, no uh, scratches on the window itself, so it is perfectly done. Also here, the design on the window, I appreciate it. And you also have a painting there, and from this angle you can't appreciate it, but the painting is representing uh, Rudolph, the red nose reindeer. Uh, okay, some more blue here and there, and I think they are very well done. All the colors are here, and the blue is attracting the attention towards some not very important but very uh, complementary to the, all the scene there. So, plenty of color because this is intended for uh, young kids, uh, and so plenty of uh, colors there. Maybe a reindeer is missing? Yes, Klaus Cottage will be very well depicted with uh, maybe a little uh, baby reindeer here and there also it is missing and maybe some Santa helper, some elf here and there but hey, this is not a masterpiece this is just a very good building from uh, Santa's Wonderland collection and I like it and it will complete what I was lacking until last year some um, North Pole uh, buildings. I have I've shown you the full review of the Elf Workshop. Now I have the Klaus Cottage. But as I uh, 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 I, uh, I said to you many times, I really don't like very much the uh, Santa's Wonderland collection because I don't like. Um, uh, poly resin buildings because they tend to be translucent and if they are not very well done and the walls are not uh, very thick I hate when light uh, pass through the walls when the building be become translucent I don't know yet because I haven't lighted it on but I, I hope that this will not uh, happen with this building not the perfection but a very good uh, building pros and cons i have no cons except for the miss the lack of uh, some uh, baby reindeer here and there and uh, and elf uh, santa's uh, little helper but everything is uh, absolutely pro for me for this uh, building here maybe I will remove this sticker here because this is just the inspection, the quality inspection sticker. And so, uh, yes, I, I appreciate it. It is from 2017, but I tend to buy almost every building from Caddington Collection. But hey, I wanted a Santa's uh, section, I wanted a North Pole section, and I am I have no other solution they got with some poly resin. Uh, building and it is also very difficult to to, uh, to shot uh, all this process that I always shown you during the um, full review mm, those are nothing else than 48 images in sequence of some angles and I have a, uh, an apparel that will rotate uh, some angles at a times in order to get all the 48 pictures and generally uh, with um, porcelain buildings you don't have problems at all with the background because uh, porcelain don't reflect uh, as much as plastic as polyrazing the light and so this isn't very perfect you know 
you can appreciate that here you, you have a certain amount of light here and if I turn it this is darker and this is the problem when shooting uh, sequence images for the uh, full review with uh, any kind of light also here very dark or darker and here lighter and I can't avoid this uh, problem when shooting all the 48 images okay maybe one day I will show you my 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 tools for shooting the reviews there uh, okay and I think that's all for now let me go off uh, let me show my face once more time I don't want to shock you obviously and so uh, this will be as I told you maybe the last video before the main project will start and I hope not having been too long but as always please uh, don't forget to subscribe comment and give thumbs up thank you for watching Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.